Hey guys, what up? It's your boy A.A. Ron coming to you with a fresh new video. In this video today, you guys, I'm going to be joined by my man. Valentin. Might have recognized him. He's back from the dead. No, A school. Uh, he was one of my A school videos. So, speaking of A school, we're going to be talking about jobs. What job are we going to be talking about? Aviation structural mechanics. Alright guys, so with that being said, we're going to get straight into it. All right, so we're gonna start from the absolute beginning. So where do you go to a school? I start a school in Pensacola, Florida. We do we're there for about two months, eight eight weeks total. That's for class time at least. There okay. is uh, extra time if you are waiting to be class stuff though. And then you go to C school there, or it depends. It all depends. So whenever you get your orders, they're gonna issue you a certain spot to go to. So I was told to go here to Norfolk, Virginia, for a school. So I'm gonna be in a Hilo Squadron, HM51. So yeah, I'm here for, I have two C schools right now. I'm on hold right now though. So I'll be out of here in August. I have a long time. Okay, that's good. All right, so I know I've gotten a few requests specifically for AM. So I'm gonna let you take the helm at this point and basically just tell everybody what it is you do. Like let them inside your world as an AM. Uh, so far I haven't really done too much, so I can't really tell you everything. But um, in A school we studied Hydraulics and framing, which is basically what you're going to be learning for no matter where you go into the fleet. Um, so uh, we learned how to frame. We did in A school. You make a little box. You just do your thing. Um, you know, in A school you make a little box out of metal. It's basically like a really, really small piece of a uh, wing. So you're basically framing yourself a little piece of wing. Um, and then you work with a little bit of hydraulics. And so depending on, this is what C school is for, you're gonna go learn all the basics in A school, and then your C school is gonna put you onto a specific type of aircraft, and you're gonna learn how to work with those specific aircrafts. So yeah, you're basically, you're gonna be doing always the same thing. It's either gonna be framing, working with the hydraulics, working in the landing gear, the wing flaps, the air, all those. Millions and millions of parts. So, what did, so, oh, that's right. You're still waiting on C school. Yes. What do you think you could be working on? What? I'm going to be doing the H60s. So, in the H60s, we have. H60s are helos for anyone that's not aware. So, it's like helicopters. Yeah. So, obviously, framing them, the body of the aircraft. And then I forget where the, the hydraulics are mostly, I believe, inside. I forget that. What is the specific term for the rear stern? Rear rudders. I think it's rudders, right? Yes, yeah, rudders. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we work with the rudders, and then there's also hydraulics for there's like reservoirs, there's pumps, there's lines, all that within inside of the aircraft too. You have to take apart and also put back together. Run maintenance on them. You're gonna run, make sure they're in tip-top shape. Make sure that there's nothing wrong with them. That there's no corrosion. There's nothing. And make sure they're 100 percent and ready for flight. So, knowing a little bit about the rate, whatnot. Anybody that's interested in choosing AM. Any advice for them for A school and other stuff like that? Um, aim for the top of your class. It's going to help you out a lot. If you're E3 or above, you will be automatic is it automatically advanced, right? Without having to take the, I believe, no? you got to wait the six months. Well, it's the top of the class. So the way that A schools generally work, depending on the A school, you either get to pick one, which is orders, or you get advanced. Yeah. Well, I know for my class, they just... Uh, they advanced the two, the two top, the top two or two before. It was a marine and then one sailor too. So, um, yeah. So you get to either pick, like you said, the orders or you get to advance. So I think it was an E two sailor that went to an E three, and then a marine. Obviously, they just get. They're just completely different. I don't think that they get to get ranked up or they even get. They just get. I guess. So there's there's other things I'm sure we didn't touch on. Like you learned about like depot level. Yeah, very, very, like, sub, uh, how do you say, subtly. So, like, like if, if they if they get, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they get anything, like, they're going to be working on, like, a part or anything like that, there's certain levels of maintenance. You have the I, yes. which is intermediate. You have the O, which is organizational. And then you have, like, the D, which is deep. Well, that's generally civilians that are ashore. So, like, your I level is typically, like, your, your shipboard stuff. O level, which I think you're going to be because you're squadron. Yeah, most likely. So he's going to be O level, and then your depot level is going to be civilians ashore. So if anything is kind of like outside of your realm that can't, that can't really be like worked on or salvaged, 
you're gonna be sending that ashore. Otherwise, whatever things that need maintenance, you're able to do in your shop. So uh, O-level people are typically responsible directly to the aircraft because they're in that squadron. Um, but I level they typically are gonna be working uh, like in the hangar or anything like that aboard the ship. But there's and then depot is like you said, like the civilians. Yeah. Those are either civilians or like retired military members, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, that have, yeah, they have to have a lot of experience. That's like the they're the top notch. So like if something like really bad happens to the aircraft, it gets them to them. But it just gets into like more advanced stuff. But that's that's just the the general info. That's, That's it, it for the video, video, guys. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Share with your moms, your aunts, your grandmas, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your nieces, Yo, your knuckles. what are you doing? Also, follow me on social media at... That's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, leave a like. Also, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I talk to you guys pretty much all the time. It's insane. I can't get enough of it. Uh, ask us any questions you have regarding the rate, and we'll answer them the best we can. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, do me a huge favor. Go check out my amazing sponsor, Into the AM. They're currently having a huge sale on their entire website. Everything is currently 25 to 80% off, and you can use my affiliate code. That's going to save yourself an additional 10% off. That's up to 90% off. That's insane. They have something for just about everybody, men and women included. They have everything from shirts, shorts, bathing suits, hats, backpacks, shoes, blankets, you name it. And they even just launched their face masks. That's right, I said face masks. I know we have the whole coronavirus pandemic thing going on, so make sure you go get your personal face mask. The cool thing about these face masks, not only are they 25% off, but when you pick up one of their face masks, not only do they ship the same day, but you're also supporting your local first responders and hospitals. For every face mask and the AM sells, they're going to be donating face masks to their local hospitals, which is an amazing way to support our first responders who are going out of their way to help keep everyone safe during this huge pandemic thing we have going on. So go around, look at some of the amazing apparel they have, see what you like. Don't forget to use my affiliate code, save yourself an additional 10% off. That's up to 90%, so take advantage of the sale while it lasts. And then don't forget to follow me on my social media as well as his. I'm going to link his social media in the description below. Once again, this is my boy, Valentin. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Peace. That's it? That's all you're going to do with your hands? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kobe. I'm so sorry, Kobe. <laughs> And that's it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Peace. Ninety percent of this aircraft, the whole exterior. Any panel that's on the aircraft, all flight controls, hydraulics, the wheels. We work with the environmental control system. Everything goes to the cockpit for the pilots to breathe, for the pressurization of the cockpit. As well as the ejection system, we own that. We work on the landing gear also. We also work with the brakes. We will take these floorboards off also and work under gear. The pedals will work with that and that breaks the aircraft and it also moves the rudder in the back which causes the plane to go left and right. I've always just been really hands-on. Ever since I was little, I'd work on porches and help with the cars. So I just thought this would be the best fit for me. There's so many jobs. We have Boeing here, there's Korski, NASA also. We asked them like, how do you get a job with NASA? And they were like, do you have any kind of aircraft background? Just apply with us and you'll probably get the job. Just seeing the bird take off during flight schedule and having the pilot come back safe and giving us the feedback that aircraft had no problems, that flight was as smooth as it can be. That is the best feeling ever.